the best beak in Covey Preschool. On most preschool days, the preschool birds were calm and pretty relaxed. Mm. But this was not always so. One morning, not so long ago, the preschool birds began to argue. It wasn't over food, toys, or even nesting places. It was over something much more serious. Who had the best beak in preschool? Our beak is long and pointy, said the heron. The cockatoo screeched. Our beak is strong, is so strong with a little hook on the end. Look at our super strong beak, said the kookaburra. The beautiful rainbow lorikeets chirped. Our beak is so cute and little. Look at ours, so long and skinny, said the eastern spine bill. Finally, the wise, powerful owl was tired of all the fighting and announced. We are going to have a competition in preschool. Who had the best beak? All the birds agreed to listen to the rules. The powerful owl explained that there will be five events and the bird that wins the most events will have, without a feather of a doubt, the best beak in preschool. Let's begin. Whoever can collect the most nectar from the flowers in two minutes is the winner. Quick as a flash, the eastern spine will poked its beak into the flower and quickly filled the container with honey, while the other birds had none. Hooray! We've got the best bees in preschool! Event 2. To win the next event, the birds had to crack open three nuts from the tree. The cockatoos used their claws to hold the nuts and their sharp hooked beak to crack open the nuts. Event 3. Small seeds will be sprinkled over the ground and the birds have to pick up enough seeds to fill the cup. The rainbow lorikeets had their heads down and easily collected the seeds in their small beak and filled the cup. We rock! We have the best beaks in preschool! Event 4. The contestants must spear a fish. No bird can do that, exclaimed the cockatoo. But before the cockatoo had time to finish their sentence, the herons had disappeared into the water and emerged with a fish spiked on their beaks. We've got the best beaks in preschool! The contest is not over. For the last event, you must catch a small little lizard. Impossible, said the rainbow lorikeets. That is gross too. The birds all watched from the branches of the gum tree looking out for a lizard. With eagle eyes like the kookaburra spotted the lizards in the grass and swooped down and picked them up in their large strong beaks. Hooray! We have the best beaks in preschool! Congratulations to you all, said the powerful owl. This can't be. It seems incredible, but... It appears you are all winners, and indeed, there are no best beaks in preschool, as we all have beaks for different foods. God has made each bird unique and special. That is just like he has made people, said the lorikeets. God made each of them different, but special in their own way. Isn't it amazing how God has created us all? Now there is no need for bickering in preschool, and once again it is a calm and peaceful place, except for the sound of happy laughter or a crash of blocks.